And welcome, Facebook friends. Um, so good to have you with us, too. Um, I believe that Tiffany is traveling today, so I think I think it's just me today. But if she joins, then the more the merrier. So um, I wanted to um, first just give a shout out to all the, the great events that are coming up. Um, we've got um, Experience doTERRA, um, I believe next week. Um, we actually set up a, a URL just for that. So you can go to experiencedoterra.com and um, link in straight to the registration, see all the dates. Um, I cannot say enough good about um, what people are getting from Experience Oterra. Um, I'm just confirming the dates here real quick. Um, oh, my bad. It's not till the end of August, August 25th, 26th. So that gives you even more time to get your, um, um, your get your peeps here, get your prospects here. Um, this is a great way just to build belief, uh, help people remember the cause. There's so much um, storytelling and vision casting about um, why we do what we do, why doTERRA even exists. Um, the vision for uh, doing things that there's a better way. Um, yes, Krista is mentioning that there is a training by Seth Rizume coming up called The Nature of Success. Um, if you happen to have the link to that, uh, Krista, if you wouldn't mind posting that. Um, I attended part of that one. And um, I just have to tell you that Seth is my favorite trainer in all of doTERRA. He is so good. And um, <clears throat> he had an amazing mentor, um, uh, Roger Anthony, um, who basically passed the baton to Seth. Uh, Roger's the one who created this um, training, The Nature of Success. And Seth is the only one um, that I know of who's authorized uh, to train in this content. So excellent material, um, breakthrough stuff. Um, I. Yeah, I saw all the emotions, laughter, tears, just massive breakthroughs. And it was so well received, he decided that he's gonna host um, at least one more. So that's coming up this next week. Um, it's a three-day training, August 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So Chris is gonna give us the link to that here in a sec. Thank you for, for that reminder, Krista. Um, also, um, we've got lots of great events around convention. Um, so if you go to sharesuccess.com slash convention, you can see all of um, the, uh, the, the team stuff that we're doing. The, um, we also like to do this, um, the essential emotions training every year, uh, the global rank retreat. Um, but one thing we like to do on Sunday is just give people a little tour of um, some of the history of Utah. And so we meet at Temple Square and we learn about the, the pioneers and about the, the founding of Utah. Um, so it's a great way just to get to know kind of the, the culture of the place. So um, all those links are there. That calendar is clickable. So anything that, that needs a re registration, uh, you just click on that on the calendar and, um, and away you go. So, um, yeah, uh, excited to connect today. Um, would love to hear um, what's coming up for you. Um, how are your goals coming? How are, um, has your mindset, um, has your belief in the product, belief in the company? Um, go ahead and raise your hand uh, if you'd like to come on and we can have a live conversation. Um, otherwise, you can post your comments in the chat or in the comments. Um, would love to hear from you. Okay. Thank 
And while we're waiting for the first person to raise their hand, um, we did have a question come in during the week um, on Facebook. Somebody posted the question, um, what would you share with a person who is already a proficient person in sales um, about doTERRA, the company, and its figures? Um, I love this question. Um, so let's say you're, you're meeting with business prospects and you've got someone who has uh, been successful in sales. Um, they've got good, good experience in sales and you really want to show them that doTERRA is uh, a legitimate business, a legitimate company with um, a solid business model. Um, so um, I would point people uh, to the build guide. Um, you go to doTERRA's Empowered Success. And um, Natalie and I had this business conversation with, with dozens of our prospects and um, many of them very successfully um, invited in and uh, launched their business. And we're like, you know what? We should probably write this down. We should make this a document. And so that's how the, born, the build guide was born. So um, I always just go to Google, Senor Google, and type in uh, doTERRA Empowered Success. And it's always the first link. And so I'll just share where I find this. So you're on the Empowered Success site. You scroll down. Here is the new and improved build guide. I don't know if you've seen the new design. Uh, the Live and the Build Guide have both been redesigned and they're, they're gorgeous. But if you look inside the Build Guide, um, it's got this um, really um, natural uh, word track, if you will. It's kind of a, an, a, an outline for a conversation about where are you now in terms of, you know, that starts out with the, the hauling buckets versus building pipeline story um, and then ask, where are you? Do you currently trade hours for dollars? Um, and then here's the value of having a financial pipeline um, where most of Americans are. And then um, just some thought questions, you know, what would, uh, what would having a financial pipeline um, make in terms of impact in your life? So some great questions there. And then here's where we start diving into some of the, um, hard numbers uh, that the, the person asked. Um, so if you're trying to build a residual income, the, the most important uh, metric in the company is retention. So retention is what determines um, what the compound effect of your efforts will be. Uh, most network marketing companies, their average is 10 to 15%. Um, we've got our friends down the street in New Skin. They were doing uh, the happy dance anytime they saw double digits. So 65 is unheard of. It's, it's the most important number. That's why it's the first one mentioned. That's why it's in big and bold. Um, but then we also have uh, some talk about how um, we're part of the $4.2 trillion wellness market. We have millions of customers. We're in 28 international markets. We have sales in 110 countries. We source from 45 countries and the executive team has over 150 years of combined industry experience. Then we talk about the cause, um, how we source ethically and um, the whole healing hands model. And then we have the numbers in terms of the earning potential um, with this rank chart and um, the five different ways to earn through the different um, parts of the compensation plan. What's, uh, what the time commitment looks like to build to each of those levels, and then um, kind of the uh, breakdown of the activities, the pipes in doTERRA. And then a soft intro to the business building guide, which is the in-depth training guide for any potential builder, and some more resources to get them launched. So the build guide is where I would point them and um, has all the stats you really need. Um, there are some great um, PowerPoints. Um, I, I just noticed for the first time that doTERRA has some really, really great power, uh, PowerPoints. Some of them are in uh, PDF format, um, but 
let's see if I can find those as easily as I did the other day. I was about to do a Zoom call and I was like, oh my gosh, Otero has made things so easy. So let's just Google Empowered Success PowerPoint and voila, here we go. First search result. Um, so um, I was doing an opportunity presentation. And so I just came right here. I clicked on download and it, it is a PDF, which is great because that sometimes with PowerPoints, you get formatting issues with fonts and things, but it basically just takes you through the build guide, but it, it's formatted in um, you know, the widescreen format instead of a uh, page format. So same content, but it's it's ready to present. So you can do a Zoom call, you could do, um, you could send that link. Um, but then it's also got a PowerPoint for natural solutions class, for your wellness consult, all these other goodies. Um, yeah, launch camp, anyways, lots of good stuff. Thank you, doTERRA. Okay, and I see that Krista has posted the link to um, Seth's training. Thank you for that. So I'll go ahead and add that on Facebook. Um, yep, that's probably gonna fill up fast. So I would definitely hop onto that. Okay. Um, Charlotte says, I was told that Metapower Collagen breaks intermittent fasting. Um, that hasn't been my experience. Um, now that I take the collagen first thing in the morning, and um, we, when we were doing our um, continuous glucose monitoring, uh, we did not see a spike in glucose. So that, that hasn't been my experience, but if anybody has more information on that, please feel free to, to post that. That's a great question. Um, okay, Maria, so Krista posted this link to the nature of success. Um, here it is again. Um, so there you go, Maria. Okay, Christine is also saying that you can go to uh, the DMK and uh, filter by a type of file. Um, sometimes you've got other language files too, but if you don't know about uh, doTERRA's digital marketing kit, um, let's just go ahead and show you a quick sampling of what's there. So you just go to doTERRA.com slash DMK and they have so many amazing marketing resources for us. And by default, it shows the stuff that's um, current. So they're ready for anything campaign, um, convention, uh, refer a friend, uh, the Rose Duet, the Reclaim Your Health events, um, business stuff. So, and then we've got some stuff by market, by language. Um, yeah, just some amazing resources. You know, you click into any one of these things. Let's say you're trying to promote convention to your teams. You come in here and there's a whole folder for convention resources. So let's go into USA and we've got um, some flyers. We've got social media assets, um, stuff about ticketing and what, what you get, some videos that you can post. I mean, this is, guys, you have no idea what a, a treasure trove this is. If you've ever tried making your own marketing materials, this is a jackpot. So 53 assets in the social media folder alone, really, really great stuff. So take full advantage of doTERRA's digital marketing kit. It's there for you. Okay. Um, Okay, Karina is asking about some questions for um, support um, based on uh, COVID, like long-term, how to, how to do some rebuilding. Um, I would go to your favorite reference guide and just look up that body system and say, okay, how can I best support healthy structure function of this body system. So obviously with lung, I would go to respiratory and um, go from there. Um, great question. 
Um, okay, Michelle is saying, how would you respond about Meta Power Advantage having less collagen than other brands? So I remember there was somebody in doTERRA who did a, um, a comparison chart. Um, let's see if we can find it real quick. Um, okay, it's healinginourhomes.com. So I'll go ahead and screen share and then share the link also. Um, where to go? Is that it? That's not it. Oh, that's weird. Shows a black. Okay. So if you go to healinginourhomes.com, um, here is the full link um, to <clears throat> a doTERRA collagen comparison. So first of all, it gives a little bit of information. And then here's the here are the charts that I was thinking of. So this is Rachel Loth who made these charts and they're fantastic. So um, we've got doTERRA stacked up against all the other major um, companies um, in the collagen space. And we have nine types of collagen. Um, we have um, you know, so many other great things in there. Um, here's what we target. And um, I've never heard anybody making the claim that we have less collagen because, you know, we've got nine different types in there. Um, I don't see anywhere a metric that actually shows how much collagen, but it's, it's super bioavailable and um, it's, yeah, it's a great value. I thought there was a second comparison chart. Um, oh, here we go, page two. Okay, here's chart two. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's, there's all the data that I can imagine you'd ever want. Um, great, great resource. So thank you, Rachel, for pulling that together. Um, that's a really fantastic resource there. So yeah, great, great resource to share if somebody has questions about how doTERRA is different and um, why it's so great. Um, okay. Um, yeah, some people are saying that they might be talking about the protein, uh, not the collagen per se. Okay, great comments. Thank you for everyone chiming in. Um, oh, and the person who asked the question about uh, the COVID damage, um, it looks like Krista is going to be addressing that in her class. So you can connect with Krista there. And um, she is there to help. Thank you, Krista. I love this community so much. Just so many helpful hands, right? Uh, making everyone's life better. So thank you for that. Okay, what are the questions you have today? Go ahead and raise your hand. Um, and we can bring you on live. Um, okay, so Gail, if you just scroll up, um, there was somebody asking, Karina was asking earlier about some tissue damage. Um, so feel free to reach out to Chris if you wanna hop on her class. And it looks like Chris is raising her hand, so we'll bring her on live. Hey, Andy, good morning. Hi, Krista. How are you? Great, thanks. Good. Here's my question. It's the end of the month. This happens to me all the time. I have this panic. I'm like, I have my goals. I'm a long way off. Whether I have my goals or not, like, what are, and my goals are really important this particular month. I'm um, partnered up with a cousin in my organization uh, that's promoting an anti-sex trafficking match grant through doTERRA match funds. So I've partnered with her and I'm promoting that and created all kinds of incentives for people up through 100% of their um, 
product value will be donated through um, and they, you know, we're gifting our fast start bonuses. That's how that's happening. Awesome. Plus, plus we lined up some other match funds. So um, it's super, like, it's unbelievably cool. And I'm just like having a hard time. I just wanted that to get, that was so much work to get that set up. I wanted mm -hmm. the, for that to just be dogpiled. I can't mm -hmm. give away everything and not have everybody just dogpile me. If I have to make individual phone calls also, like we normally would. I'm like, oh, I just, I can't get it across the line. So the goal is big. It's a, it's a $15,000 match grant. And I think we're sitting at maybe awesome. like $1,700 or something. So I have faith we'll get it done. I really believe we will, but I leave in two days to launch a new team in Florida that I'm really excited about. I'll be there a week. I'm just panicked. That's the question. <laughs> like, what do you do about that end of month panic? just make it's making me crazy and this debilitating I get uh paralyzed and I just don't make any calls I just don't even do anything so it sounds like you've got a rank goal yeah I do and uh the the rank goal is kind of linked to this um fundraising goal um yeah. because they they're they're both working towards the same thing right like yeah, they're they're tied. I mean, if I missed my rank and we got the fundraising goal, I'd be thrilled. But I there isn't any reason. We actually probably we won't. Like if I don't rank up, we for sure won't get the fundraising goal. So because my my rank goal is easier than the fundraising goal. Uh huh. So, right. So tell me about your um your team in terms of um who else do you have on board with you um. Well, there's the run it's, it's summer. <laughs> They're all like, call me in a month or two. You know, I've got this vacation. I've got this wedding. I've got this whatever. You know, it's many, many, many. Uh, I won't call them excuses, but just challenges. Sure. The team running with me. I'm, I feel very much alone. And it's not that I don't have an amazing team. I love my team so much. They're amazing. Um, and, uh, a, sort of above me and below me just in terms of our team there's a, there are just a lot of challenges yeah well first of all I love um the way you've structured this um <clears throat> the uh the, the you know the cause really speaks to me and um and I know a lot of people I, I know Seth that's a a big part of his motivation and so I love the way that you're you're linking arms with the cause to to say let's you know let's do some good together so i think that's fantastic um, yeah Sorry and anytime we um we double our effort to do good what do we find massive opposition every time yep. every time <laughs> Yep, new level, new devil, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, what do you do with that? Grit my teeth. That's okay. what I do. Um, I had um, I had a team member actually. I got her on the phone with my immediate upline, so she, so her grandpa on the business, me and her, so some taproot mentoring. Got her on the phone. I was like, hey, because I called him and was like, hey, I'm stuck. This is just not breaking free. We're getting to the end of the month. Help me. What What are your ideas? So we started talking through team. And like, well, could you three-way call her with me? Because I can't. She is just depressed. <laughs> she's, uh -huh. she's depressed about the business. And she said so. She's not going anywhere. She knows she feels really called to what it is that we're doing here. Yep. But she's just got a huge, huge, you know, lifetime dream vacation happening in a couple of weeks she's focused on that yada yada and she just is nothing's broken free for her for quite a while hmm. so we got on the phone and she talked through it with him and he was like how can I help you and she goes you I don't I can't think of anything he goes all right well if you think of anything and I'm like no <laughs> we, have to, we have to get something out of her so I was like would you please consider praying for this she's like yeah I could do that but I mean really with like yeah I guess I mean total Eeyore uh -huh. energy <laughs> but I knew if she would commit she would and I was like I, I was like Danny if you will 
pray for things the way that you pray for your, she's very public about being a, she's a recovery expert. She's in recovery herself. In fact, today is her 10th anniversary, her 10th wow. her birthday. Um, so everybody shout out Danny. <laughs> like, hey. I, I accidentally dropped her name, but there we are. So, um, she did, and she has, she had two team members call her out of the blue and say, I think I'd like to get re-engaged with doTERRA. Wow. That's fantastic. So I'm like, I mean, some of this is just, I get that it's not about me. It's not my project. It's not my, it is literally not my project. It's somebody else's match grant project is they're, you know, they've, they're, they're shepherding that through. We can do that too, but this is not even my selected project. I just, I had called Seth and I was like, Hey, I saw Sound of Freedom. I want a project. You know, who's the charity that I should call and say, I'm going to do a match grant project with you. And he yeah. was like, there's one already up with another team member. This would be such a blessing to her. Would you consider mm -hmm. taking this on and partnering with her? And I was like, yeah, I took a look at it. And I was like, yeah. So then, I, you know, we talked to Danny. Danny probably sent up one prayer. Honestly, she's so, she's such a powerful manifester. Mm -hmm. And so two, two team members have re-engaged from, you know, so who knows, but I also like the, where I'm struggling is like just the math of it. I figure I'm going to have to like, just the math of it. I'm like, okay, you know, big numbers so that I am sure to get this done. I think it's a hundred phone calls. Like I just have to figure it out <laughs> or something. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe I'm just overwhelming myself and go, no, I just need to ask God to get this done. And show me the next right thing. I'm not sure. That's why I'm asking. Well, I love, I love the question. And I love how life, um, especially when you're about doing good things, it, um, it brings these hand custom, like hand tailored um, experiences to us um, to teach us such powerful lessons. And I feel like that's exactly where you are in it right now. And so you're, you're on a mission. You've got um, big causes. And um, there is something to be, to be gained, to be learned um, from the feeling of being alone. From the feeling of I'm, you know, there's no one up or down um, who's here to help. So. And, and I think you just answered a big part of your question um, when you talk about, um, you know, just letting go and letting God, right? Like the total and complete surrender is, is what I'm feeling. Like it's, um, this is the faith leap where um, we keep moving, right? We keep um, doing everything as if it depends on us and believing as if it all depends on him so um the other thing the other thought that i'm having is um you talked about how you got engaged um because someone above you was tap rooting right or something i think you, you talked well, about i i got engaged in this match uh grant right. opportunity because i reached out to seth and i was like i'm looking for a project so that's how I got connected with uh, Laura. Laura Kepker is running this. Okay, perfect. So um, how much tap rooting have you done on your team? Um, I, um, I'm not that deep. I don't have that many people to work with. I, I love tap rooting. Um, can you tell me a little bit more what you mean by that? My yeah, right, so, right straight to mentoring, but I don't think that's what you're asking me. No, so what I think this is Seth who who teaches this so much and, and so powerfully. It's this idea that um, obviously there's you and then you've got your your qualifying partners, like, like your your key um, generals, if you will, uh, that, that you're that you're building with and running with. But sometimes um, we, we actually have, um, and instead of trying to push the people closest to us, sometimes you have to reach down a little deeper into your organization 
And you know, if, you, if you're brand new and you only have a front line, obviously this doesn't um, apply as much. But um, if, if you've got a more mature team and, and at least two or three levels of depth, then um, sometimes it's just looking at your back office and saying, oh, uh, so-and-so enrolled someone this month. I'm gonna reach out and tell them congratulations and see what I can do to support them. Um, so the idea is you can create more momentum by adding to um, a, you know, an object that's in motion rather than trying to start objects that are not in motion. Yeah, okay. And so taprooting is reaching down into your team where there's a small spark and fanning it into a flame. And that's where um, Seth, you know, he can tell you story upon story about how he did that with, you know, Adam and Rosie Kopp, um, yeah. who were way down in, the, in his team. And um, just, you know, the, I think a lot of his um, team in Italy came yeah. from taprooting, um, you know, the Petrolinis. So it's just, um, being willing to take a little more time to look for for energy and, and for um, interest um, and then running with that. Um, okay. So I know it's late in the month, uh, only a few days left, um, but uh, sometimes um, that's, um, you have to go slow to go fast, you know, like yeah. taking a few minutes to do that can can make all the difference. Um, I also love uh, a comment that um, um, Casey made that the new summer promos are a great reason to um, you know reach out to people. You know, just just reconnecting with team members and saying, hey, I don't know if you heard, um, DoTerra has this amazing deal that's going. It's um, it, it, this is a great time to invest in you, um, invest in your health and um, make stuff happen. So, um, yeah. So how does that feel? That feels really, yeah, that's, that's potentially just really the gift of this tough situation um, that I learn to really activate those levels just because the people right next to me are not engaged for various reasons, which I, you know, what can I do with respect of that? But I, I really do genuinely respect different people. I've just, there are months that I can't be all in and they just happen yeah. to align to all of them really not be all in. Um, yeah. But I'm not complaining. I'm launching a new team member this weekend. Like it's- I love that. You know, so- yeah. Like I, my team is growing right next to me. It's growing in depth. My, my opportunity to strengthen myself as a leader and go and help some people in depth. I just love, and that like when Seth showed me the pow, you know, just what taprooting really looks like structurally, that was when I got a little bit more all in, in this being a real business Yeah, because I just couldn't really understand how I would ever get leverage on my time and how this would end up being an asset yeah. to me that my family and I, that my family was ever going to see me again. Like I would just be running forever. Just, you know, it's not Always. a retail model. We do have the retention, but I'm like, well, you still have to just it's a lot of leaders to take care of. Yeah. But, you know, Seth has taught me, you know, it's four wide and seven deep. And so yeah, that's how I'm building. And I do have people that, that are deeper in my team. They do know me. And and then there are people, well, what I hadn't thought of is like those people that I don't know that I just yeah. look and see them in my office and call and introduce myself. Yeah. That's not something like that's not rocket science. I just have never done it. I've never yeah. really reached out. I've sent, I've, I've sent postcards. I've sent direct mail pieces. I've sent congratulations to, to people, especially when they rank up at all, like as soon as, sure. as, soon as they hit anything, I'm like, congratulations, but that's great. A phone call means a lot. And it uh, does. that could be, that's part of what I'm looking for. I'm like, I have to know, I, I basically need God to tell me, call this person. Okay. Call this person. Cause that's what I have time for. I can't power. I, I'm not going to have time to just power through a hundred calls and hope, you know, and hope that they work out. I really need to call the right people and I don't know who they are. So I need to be told one of the information yeah. pieces that would be helpful is for me to just look in my back office and see where the momentum is. That makes sense. 
totally. And and I love, I love that. Seth. Seth also teaches that the best kept secret in the compensation plan is unilevel. Yeah. He's like, you know, we, we give so much focus and attention to rank that um, we really have done a disservice to the real engine of the comp plan, which is unilevel. So when if if you're going to grow a team that's um, you know that gets into momentum phase and and does support you long term, it's going to be because of unilevel. And so you know I, I've got team members who were diamond once, and and then they disengaged and they've fallen back to gold, but they have enough volume that they're still living great lives off the residual because of unilevel. Mm -hmm. So. It's it's kind of this um, dirty little secret. I don't know why we don't talk about it more often. Um, that's that's powerful. And tap rooting is the best way I know to build unit level. So it's just taking a spark, fanning the flame, letting it run. Who cares if they're a qualifying leg or not? It builds yeah. unit level. Like unit level is the is the flywheel. Super helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Absolutely. Thank you so much for raising your hand, Krista. And um, by the way, uh, somebody did ask um, for the link to Krista's fundraiser. And so she did post it there. I've also posted on Facebook. So, so anyone who would like to contribute to a worthy cause, um, let's all jump in and, and support a good cause. Thank uh, you. Thank you for the request. That would be amazing. That's not why I raised my hand. Um, it no, would be it's... amazing to have your help. Uh, that is matched 100% through doTERRA Healing Hands Foundation. So that like when we do that 25 collective in our back office, like when we make our own order and we add the 25 collective, that 25 bucks a month, that's enough. Yeah. But, you know, it, it doesn't take that many of us to do that, to create the match grant momentum inside of doTERRA Healing Hands. And then the match grant for this particular project uh, will turn into $30,000, which just as a headline, what's happening with that particular project is that it will get 10 kids. So I'm calling this the Starfish Project because uh -huh. I walked out of the movie Sound of Freedom, you know, overwhelmed like most of us did. And I've done anti-trafficking work and I've done recovery from uh, those who have been in sex slavery. And I, like, there are a lot of good projects out there. But this was so magical because I called Seth and I was like, okay, I have to do something. I'm going to make this my project. Like, who's the charity that I should sponsor? And Seth was like, this is the one. So I got together with Lara and here's how, what this one is. These are the kids that are in Colombia, like the, these kids that are the subject of this. I can't do anything about the 2 million kids in, in sex trafficking. I don't know what to do about that. But this project funds 10 kids. So it's like this, like yep. the start story where you're walking down the beach, the guy's walking down the beach and a storm has blown hundreds, maybe thousands of starfish up on shore. And he realizes they're going to die because they're fish. Mm -hmm. So he picks them up and starts throwing them back. And the other guy walks up and is like, what are you doing? Like, and he, yeah. there are thousands of them. You can't save them all. And he just thinks about it for a second. He leans over, he picks up another one, throws it in. And then he looks back at the second guy and goes, save that one. And then he picks up another one. So this is like nothing compared to the 2 million kids out there, but this is 10 kids yeah. that if we can host what the money goes for is to host them in the United States with adoption ready families, they're nearly hundred percent likely to be adopted. If they're not adopted, there's a 60 to 80% chance that when they age out in Colombia, right, get ready for this, they will age out at 16 years old. And then as you can guess, 16. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> So the Colombian government considers them special needs. They're 12 to 15 years old because if they don't get adopted, they're going to walk into sex trafficking because that's how they feed themselves. It's horrendous. Wow. Horrendous. And it's not a lot of kids, but it's 10. And that's what we're funding. It's wow. 10 kids. So if that works for you, that's not why I came on. But if you, yeah. you want to do it, it's, it is just extraordinary leverage upon leverage upon leverage because doTERRA funds 100% of Healing Hands Foundation um, expenses like even when you swipe, swipe your card there's no merchant account fee removed I mean it's just incredible there's so much leverage going oh. right to the project and relatively speaking this is a small project but as you can tell I have a lot of passion about this as a, like today like this month in July 
I got super committed. My organization is a giving organization. I love there's that. just no reason that we can't build doTERRA. I've been healed myself. Mm -hmm. You know, we do healing. That's what we do. And on top of that, we just, it is so easy to like push some buttons and fill out an application. You can do match grant projects. It's amazing. Yeah. So true. So powerful. So I did post um, one link to Kathy, which is she was having trouble with the DMK. But mm -hmm. then the link, the link after that, the bit.ly link <clears throat> is um, Krista's link to her fundraisers. So um, anyone who wants to, please uh, jump in and and let's let's throw back some starfish and and do some good. Oh, thank you. What so a beautiful much. gift to just I'm like, hey, I'm desperate. I wasn't expecting yeah. it with the fundraiser. That's beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Krista. Thank you. Okay, there have been a couple of questions that have come through. Um, Maria is saying, um, I'm going to have to do another job plus doTERRA as I'm growing up for a season. Um, I'm having to block around how to structure my time to do the best work at doTERRA for the hours I have available. Um, how many people here are growing a great business in doTERRA while working full time? I don't want to be all or nothing in my thinking. So let's hear a shout out. Um, just, you know, say yes or me in the comments if, if that's you. Um, if, if you're having to squeeze doTERRA into um, the nooks and crannies of your schedule um, to, to fit it all in. Um, yeah, Allison is saying yes. Uh, Christina is saying me. Karen, so you're not alone. It's, um, I love how doTERRA, when they put the, um, the buck and some pipeline story in the build guide, that's part of that story, right? Like that person had to keep hauling buckets while they built their, their pipeline on the side um, because that's how most of us have to do it. Like we don't just quit our jobs one day and go all in with doTERRA, most of us. Most of us, it's a, a gradual like, Let's, um, let's build this up. Let's build up some residual and build a safety net so that I can um, jump out of the other thing I'm doing. So first of all, you're not alone. Second of all, um, schedule your success. Um, Laura Jacobs says this all the time. Success is scheduled. So if you go to the business building guide, not the build guide, but the business building guide, also in doTERRA's of Power Success, there's a whole section on scheduling your success and how you should be spending most of your time on IPE, right? Invite, present, and roll. And that's how you can maximize your efforts um, and not just be um, spinning your wheels. So I love um, the, the track that's been laid out for us um, to, to make the most of our time. It's really, um, it's not rocket science, um, but, uh, because it's easy to do, it's easy not to do. So taking the self-care um, is important. Um, so Kathy, it looks like you're still having issues with that link. Try using a different browser. Um, I know that I'm on a Mac and sometimes some websites don't work in Safari, so I have to go to Chrome. Um, just, just try another browser because it's, it's working for me. I'm sure it's working for most people. Okay. Awesome. Yes, you are in good company if you are in this part-time. Okay. And Krista's spelling out more of what she's doing there. Um, thank you for that. Okay, any other questions? Raise your hand if you wanna come on live. Um, anything else you wanna work through? All right, well, if not, then um, I'll just send us off with, with the thought that our jo number one job as builders in this cause, in this project, is to build belief. Our first and most important priority is um, to breathe belief in the product, in the company, in opportunity, and in others. Um, really seeing potential in them and 
um, conveying that belief so clearly to them that they come to believe in themselves. Um, that's what uh, Stephen Covey taught over and over, and um, and it's true. So um, thank you all so much. Um, Maria, I would just reach out to Chris on Facebook um, if you want to send her a private message. But thank you all so much for being with us here today and um, wishing you all the very best and we'll see you next week.